published, 1.32 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2019, updated, 1.32 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 2nd of April 2019 from Tamara Joyce Melbourne Cottage to Jessica's Perth Apartment, it's no secret that Airbnb properties were used throughout the filming of Married at First Sight this season. And now fans have been left wondering whether Ning Sarosang's cozy Queensland home is also an Airbnb rental. Prior to Ning's vow renewal ceremony with husband Mark Scrivens on Monday night's episode, viewers saw the mother of three return home for a week to ruminate on her marriage. Rental? Married at first sight's Ning Sarosang has been accused of using an Airbnb. Pictured on Monday night's episode while the 32-year-old was seen wheeling her luggage through what looked to be her bedroom, it quickly became apparent the interior looked very different to what was shown during Ning's homestay week. Fans took to Twitter to complain about the apparent lack of continuity, with one tweeting, Do the producers realize we can tell the difference in houses? Ning's house from the homestay has not the same house as now, another added, Oh is Ning back in her real house? Doesn't look like the Airbnb. With one tweeting, do the producers realize we can tell the difference in houses? Ning's house from the homestay has not the same house as now Daily Mail Australia has reached out for comment, it comes after Mav's bride Amara Joy confirmed that several of the participants' homes are actually rentals. The HR manager, 29, told Daily Mail Australia last month that her property during homestays was actually a $150 per night Airbnb located in Hoppers Crossing, Melbourne, that's sneaky. It is not disclosed on Married at First Sight that some of the properties are actually rented for the purposes of filming. Pictured, the exterior of Ning's home, during Monday's episode, homestays, are supposed to offer a glimpse into the contestants' daily lives and it is assumed that filming takes place in their actual homes, it's not my house, just an Airbnb, said Tamara, before adding, I was just in it for the homestay, with Dan Webb, Tamara's homestay episode aired on Monday night. There was no indication, given that the Hoppers Crossing property was a rental, whatever happened to, reality, TV? Married at first sight's Tamara Joy recently confirmed her Melbourne property during homestays, pictured, was actually a $150 per night Airbnb mystery solved. It's not my house, just an Airbnb, Tamara told Daily Mail Australia. Pictured as the exterior of Tamara's Airbnb rental home the property, which is built on Airbnb as its sun-filled family home en route to Great Ocean Road, features three bedrooms and two bathrooms. It is currently being rented out to the public for a reasonable $150 per night. A week earlier, eagle-eyed fans took to Twitter to question whether MAF's producers hired Airbnb rentals for the contestants' homestays. Several viewers refused to believe that Billy Vincent, a 28-year-old barista and part-time actor, could afford a palatial home in Byron Bay, Tamara's fake bedroom. Tamara confirmed that her property during homestays was actually a $150 a night Airbnb located in Hoppers Crossing, Melbourne. Pictured, the home's bedroom, 